Hey everyone, it's the Earth Collectors here. We are opening up an NBA Hoops by Panini Hobby Box. This is, of course, the brand new product, 2021-22, the first product with the rookie class from last year in their NBA uniforms. Uh, you get one autograph this year compared to two in the past. Uh, this was 190 I believe last year these were coming out at like 350 uh, So quite a bit lower in price, but you do get that one less auto. Although usually one of the two autos was like a $5 auto almost always. Uh, but we'll see. You're not guaranteed to get a rookie auto. There's veteran autos in this as well as rookies uh, and mostly sticker autos, I believe. All I don't think they have any on card. I don't think they do. Um, usually they do not. So hoops, uh, definitely a little bit cheaper than the past couple of years. Coming back down to earth a little bit, it's a little more watered down. You look at the checklist, definitely a little more watered down. But honestly, at the hundred dollar, a hundred and ninety dollar price point for any basketball release, really you can't beat it. Um, just because you can't get any other hobby boxes at a hundred nine hundred hundred and ninety dollars, right. you might be able to get Team All or something, but not uh, hoops. You are getting the one autograph, which is something like even in the Team All products that you are not going to be guaranteed which would be closer to that price point. Um, so, and this is obviously the first rookie cards of these guys, uh, apart from like a Panini Instant card um, in their NBA uniform. So we'll go ahead and get into it here. A lot of guys at first were kind of, you know, about this rookie class, but um, it definitely a lot of people think that it has some really good potential. The one issue uh, with it of sorts, not really an issue, but that's different than past years, is that um, you don't have that one like superstar standout no, guy. There's right. a bunch of guys who are you know, are pretty good. good, have good talent, but there's not like a Lamelo Ball or a Zion in this class. So Marcus Smart, Colin Sexton, the design here, pretty clean. I like it actually, not too bad. Uh, some years these designs are a bit more interesting, but I kind of like this one. Yeah, this is pretty basic, pretty much the normal, what I'd say normal hoops, if that's what I think of when I think of hoops. Uh, we've got a purple Tyrese Halliburton. And those are not going to be numbered. And then our first rookie, Corey Kispert, for the Wizards. So you are going to get one rookie per pack, whereas in years past you did get two, um, which I actually do like a lot that they're doing that because that way it does sort of uh, make the rookie uh, uh, cards in this a little less watered down. Yeah. I think last year they did two. I don't think they've always done two, though. I think the last year was a unique, but I like that's that a nice city edition. Insert. John yeah. Morant, NBA Hoops, and a Miles McBride. So John Morant right now, I, I actually bought three at the show I was at. I purchased three John Morant cards when I was there and sold all three while I was there that day. <laughs> um, he is a guy right now yeah, that is hot. super popular and deservingly. I mean, right now you watch him. He is one of the most fun guys to watch in the NBA. So. Oh, and he really has been really ever since he's come up, but he's obviously getting better. Yeah. Another purple. Oh, I was hoping that was going to be Jalen Green, but... A Josh Christopher purple rookie for the Rockets. So that's good. Anytime you can pull a parallel or insert or whatever, anything colored of a rookie in this, it's very tough. I watch a lot of box breaks of this, and you'll see it's hard to pull anything of a rookie other than a yeah. base card. There's a Davion Mitchell rookie. Not bad. Uh, this is like the 10th overall pick, so he's got a little bit of hype behind him. I don't think he's done much this year, though, so... Uh, Opening up this new stuff always helps me personally to follow the rookie class a lot closer oh, yeah, uh, yeah. when these cards are out because it's something that when I go to shows or when I'm buying lots and stuff, it's stuff that now gets included. So I kind of follow these guys. I like that too. High Court, Luca. Uh, follow these guys to see you know who's good, who's not. So there's a James Booknight rookie. Yeah, because typically this comes out in November or December at the latest, and now it's January. It just came out last week. Right. Um, so it's very, very late, and things are just getting pushed back further. So it's it's very hard to follow the rookie class if you collect cards when you can't buy any of the rookies. So here's our first numbered one, Road to the Finals out of 999. Joel Embiid on the Sixers, and... That's actually pretty cool. This card should do pretty well, I would imagine. Uh, Juan Toscano Anderson, a really fun role player to watch on the Warriors. Um, he is not. He's been in the G League and stuff for a while. Played in Mexico, I think, for a while as well. And so he's kind of worked his way up. 
Um, this is a guy that probably does okay, I guess, just because he's sort of a fan favorite. Sure. Uh, the Warriors. Kind of like, uh, what's his face? He's not as good as Alex Caruso, but kind of like that. Oh, yeah, I like that typical role player. Yeah, yeah. Wiseman, Maxi Kleba, DeJounte Murray, he's had a really good year. Kangu, Rozier, Robert Covington now. Yes, there's a yeah, red back. There's a yep. red back, so they do have these in there. Yeah, if you don't get an insert or some kind of a parallel, usually it's a red back. I say a Jackson rookie. And I don't know if those that maybe if you get a really hot rookie, they may be worth something. People don't care. Yeah, I don't really think they're anything mm -hmm. that nowadays people chase, but I could be wrong. Now, how big is this set? It's probably, what, 300 cards, I guess? It's pretty big. I, just, I don't the, know the, the number off the top of my head. Kispert and Aldama. Um, it'll tell us right here. Should maybe not. I don't know no, if it, it tells you on Panini. It used to. It used it? to say the set size, but I guess not anymore. Uh, 227, so I'm guessing it's 300. There's a good rookie yeah. on the back. Scotty. Yeah, I mean... It, in the old days, this was a set builder's product, which I don't it know. It still kind of is. Yeah, people still build basketball sets. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, spoiled it. Carl Anthony Towns out of 199. So if you get a hot rookie of that, that's going to yeah, be a really good gonna card. Yeah, that's going to be pretty good. Now, my advice, take this for whatever. If you're a collector, just keep the stuff. Um, but if you are opening this and you want to get some value back out of your boxes or retail or whatever it might be, Sell it as soon as you yeah. get it because they... That was Scotty Barnes, is that? Who yeah, was? yeah so, I, right. Just yeah, exactly. Uh, so a guy like that right now, maybe his rookie card is worth 10 bucks or something. Yeah. Uh, I would sell it right now because it will most likely go down. Well, especially when retail comes out, which exactly. will happen in the next couple of weeks, I'd guess. That's cool. Ooh, that's a sweet card. Yeah. I can't even... Uh, hypnotize? Is that what it yeah, is? Yeah, Hypnotize John yeah. Rant. Interesting. I'll have to look that one up just to make sure it's not something. I saw another guy open a box and he pulled one of those. Okay, so maybe um, it is a slightly more rare insert. They have quite a few inserts in here because I've seen some that we've pulled already that I haven't seen some other people pull in their hobby boxes. So, Oh, yeah, these are cool. Man, I actually, they did a really good that's job a, with this set. Yeah, that's a, Jack, that's a sweet uh, looking zero card. Zero Gravity. And a Jason Preston rookie. Yeah, you know, zero gravities are really cool. Yeah, so those I'm a fan. I mean, they just did a good job. This used to be a little, hoops used to be a lot more bland, actually. Really? Yeah. Um, and so I actually really like what they've done with this, especially as this like if you are you know six to fifteen years old and you're a big fan of basketball, this is going to be something that's most likely in your price range um, in yeah. terms of retail and hobby and picking up some of these cards. This might be our auto. Um, there is a James and a Chris Bassey. Let's see. I have a feeling that this is. Is it a yeah? Is it a veteran? Trailblazers. Sure looks like it. Rod Strickland. <laughs> oh, wah, wah, wah. We bought. We've pulled him before, actually. Yeah. I mean, he's a good player. Don't get me wrong, yeah. but he's not it's the not, guy not you're, what you're looking hoping for. for no, so. But that's that's hoops. I mean, and then people say, "Well, two hundred bucks is really steep," and it is. Um, but you know, to say to go back to the old days right now is not possible. Uh, I think these. I think Pac-Man said on his channel that the sticker retail price on these is one twenty. Um, so even at one twenty, it would be steep compared to the old days. And that sticker retail, I don't, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm unsure of to, as to what that necessarily is. Whether that is what oh the God. distributor, distributor distribu right? No, it's not distributor. What they're buying it for, because they're buying these boxes a lot less if you have wholesale allocation and stuff. Yeah, but it is probably um, like what they tell you the MSRP is or whatever. Yeah, that's what it is, right? Yeah, the or MSRP. Says the yep. MSRP is, but. And then I think Panini had them at, on their site for two ten, I believe. There's Tyler Hero. Um, yeah, but it, the one thing I like about the set is I love the uh, court action shots, you know, the live action shots, I guess you could say. So there's Greg Brown. And... Nice. There we go. Uh, it's not Wagner, right? It's, it's Wagner. 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 It's Wagner. Just like um, Mo, right? Yeah. He's, a, he's actually quite popular. Uh, I'm sure he'll be yeah, hot at Michigan he, card shows because 
big Michigan guy, yep. obviously. Uh, probably better than his brother at Michigan, most would say, I would think. And then, uh, obviously, has had some pretty good NBA success here early, even though the Magic kind of stink. Um, that's the one issue. Another issue uh, with this is the, um, in terms of this rookie class, is that most of these there guys, like, for instance, Cade and some of these other people, play on teams that are really pretty far away from being playoff ready. Yeah. So Wagner, um, obviously big name, and Cade Cunningham. So back-to-back two packs. That's pretty yeah, cool. and that's usually the case. I mean, it's just, just like football. I mean, these quarterbacks get drafted on these teams that, you know, for the most part, don't have a shot. Um, but they'll make a name for themselves. I mean, look at Ja. I mean, on the Grizzlies, Grizzlies are a little bit, speaking of Ja, um, they were a little bit better of a team, but Damian Lillard, this is a nice look at insert. Yeah, the foil on it, City Edition. Yeah. And I'm a fan. They did a good job with this stuff, I think. Joshua, is it Primo? I don't know him. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure about him. Um, but yeah, it is a lot of fun to open up a set that actually has the rookies in their NBA uniforms, um, and to uh, you know actually see see the cards live and in person. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of college stuff at all uh, in terms of opening it for myself. I just don't collect or follow college basketball or football really for that matter at all. Trey Young um, purple, but it does have a massive following because on ebay some of the best-selling stuff that i sell at least is college stuff football football and basketball and basketball right? really yep because it's one of those things where if the guy does nothing in the nfl then he still has a you know college following right right mitchell graham and so far we haven't yet to pull any big name um rookies in a insert or parallel which is like i said in the beginning very hard to do anthony davis and butler all right so yeah the the cards look good i like the design um nothing fancy obviously but better than some years yeah, it's not bad at all and it is definitely oops box is falling over Definitely a lot of fun to open up some basketball. We have some flux in the background there, so we'll be opening that up later, and hopefully we'll find some um, more retail this week. That was a Garza, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, it was uh, where? No, it wasn't. No, never no. Uh, Just kind of look. I couldn't see it at all, what the name was. What were you saying about flux retail? I was saying we'll do a flux retail we'll break. Do, we'll do hoops retail is what you're going to Yeah, say. That right. Was that, you that was, I was saying hopefully we'll find some retail and it will be uh, new basketball, but that's no guarantee. Okay. So. It's going to be a red back. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yep. Halen, don't know anything about him. And Zaire Williams. So he's a high draft pick. Williams is. You haven't really got a chance to watch much of the rookie action. Have you seen many games with the... Yeah, because I've been watching basketball. and Top rookies? Uh, yes, but some of them are kind of hard to watch because their teams are so bad. <laughs> All right, so let's see who this is here. That's Thomas. And... So we get a rookie parallel. Yeah, so we get a rookie Maybe parallel. A nice Mobley. Oh, this is the right way. No, but a oh, Steph Curry. That's cool. it's not bad. Active free, Active. Fro free throw leader. Leader. Just so an insert back. number. Yeah, that's cool. I like it. Yeah, not bad. You can pull 101s out of this stuff. Oh, there he is on the back. Giddy. Gosh, Giddy. Had a big game a little while ago, right? Yes. Was it a triple double or double double? Or what do you have? Triple double? Yeah. All right, let's see what this is. And Man, Oscar Robinson, really cool. legend. That's pretty cool. Thumbs up to Panini on the inserts. Yeah, inserts are really nice. Now, the the one thing that's cool, there he is, Josh Giddy. The um, inserts in retail should be different. They usually always are. And there's usually always some hot ones that people chase out of retail. So, Was Slam the one? Were those in hoops last year? Or not Slam. Um, what are they? Those news ones. 
Wasn't yes, it, wasn't it I think it was. Yeah, so was, was that was that hoops or I was that a different it was product? Hoops. It was either hoops or donuts, and I'm pretty sure it was hoops. Yeah, it, yeah, those were hot. Holy cow, those were selling for a lot of money. Yeah, and here's another stuff. Prime twine. twine, twine. I get it. Yeah, yeah, I get it. At first, I didn't really get it until I saw the uh, side there. Twine, uh, Wiggins. All right, so two more packs. Hey, if you like this video, definitely hit that thumbs up button. Comment below. Let us know what you think of hoops. Um, did you buy a hobby box? If so, what did you pull out of it? Um, comment down below what you think of this box so far. I'd say this box is average to below <laughs> so far, but hey. I would say okay. Yeah, I'd say okay. Um, it's probably not the worst, but definitely so far not the best. And then the lowest numbered thing we got was to 199, I think. So there's a Seth Curry, and obviously the all these uh, Road to the Finals are always super high numbered. Uh, 2021. Not, not always. Not always true, but the uh, Road to generally. the Final ones, yeah, you generally have a higher number. Obviously they have lower number parallels in it, but all right, let's see if we can get anything cool out of this last pack. Let's get a nice insert parallel, something of a rookie other than that red back that we got. Uh, Donovan Mitchell, uh, okay. another, I mean, another, I like that the look of that city. Yeah, city editions are and cool. last but not least, Grimes. Okay. Some people like him, so. All right. Interesting. Not so, bad. got some of the good names. We didn't, did we pull Mobley? Uh, we did not. We did not pull a Mobley, but I think we pulled most of the other top guys. Yeah, we did in the pull set, most so. of them. All right, not too bad. Um, we'll be putting some of the stuff up on my eBay store, so look at the description down below, and in that you'll see a link if you're interested in any of these cards. Uh, besides the base ones, we'll put up some of the rookies and inserts in there. Um and always try to have competitive prices. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this uh, break. Once again, hit that thumbs up button. Comment below. Let us know what you think of it, of this product. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. And hit that little bell icon to be notified when we post a new video. Take care, guys. Have fun collecting. We'll see you soon.